took the inspiration for the patterns and the overall composition of the lighting piece very much from the architecture. We don't think showing technology is interesting. Technology is something that dates very quickly, so we hide it. All the lighting in this project is completely hidden. You don't see it from inside the building where the conference rooms are, you don't see it from outside. Instead, what do you see is just the light. It is a modernist piece of architecture in, in central Madrid um, with a very sort of clean, rigid uh, forms and lines. So whilst our light movement is quite organic and quite soft, it goes very well with the, with the massing of this particular building. I think very important uh, part of this project is the transition from day to night when uh, during the day you see a very solid stone facade and at night the light starts sort of emitting from it. We're very interested of creating a movement where you feel that it is indeed a shadow that's moving across the facade and not a light that's moving across. I believe the unique thing about this project is that it does not repeat, it follows nature, really. It's biomimicry in its purest form. This piece relates to the urban rhythm through the pace, uh, the way it behaves, the way it's related to time. Um, it's never quite the same. It acts as a sort of welcoming device, a sort of sense of arrival. It makes you feel special when you arrive. The software used for the project, it's completely custom made. It creates uh, an evolving content that never repeats, but it also has a user interface that allows sort of more explicit communication, so it becomes a sort of direct branding tool for the client. Over time, we'll keep evolving. Um, it will find uh, new patterns, new shapes. Uh, also, I think the client will find interesting uses for it. It's, it's completely flexible. This is the beauty of digital light in a built environment, is that it's an open canvas and it allows for a great deal of experimentation.